Yeah, why should you? Yeah, good for the environment. I don't know, do you care about freedom? Do you care about um, other others other than yourself? Yeah, I feel bad. What's wrong with the milk though? What's wrong with milk? Yeah. I don't know, well who's milk for? Cows. But who's, what, what, what type of cow? Um, what type of cow, cow drinks milk? The baby one. The baby he does, yeah. 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 You still drink milk? Mm, yeah. When did you stop drinking your mother's milk? Um, three, I don't know. When Younger maybe. When you were about three or four? Yeah. So why are you still drinking mother's milk? Mm. Oh, because to grow, I don't know. To grow? Yeah. You look, you're bigger than me, dude. <laughs> well, if you stop drinking your mother's breast milk, what makes you think you need to drink breast milk from another species of animals? They give it to us. They tell you to? Yeah. Do you do everything they tell you to? I don't know. <laughs> so, who, who first gave you the, the dairy milk? I don't know. Well, when you first drank it, who gave it to your parents? Probably, yeah. And who first gave it to them? The milk people. The milk people. Yeah. They, they told them, you know, milk's good for your bones and maybe yeah. you should drink milk. And everyone just drinks it. But would so, you... I like soy milk. I could change milk. Maybe. You like soy milk? Yeah. Not many people like soy milk, but there's about 30 other different milks other than the one that comes from the boob of a cow. So why don't people just drink that? I don't know, because they've been taught that milk's healthy or they need it for strong bones, which is all just, you know, you can have strong bones. What about bones. eggs? What, what if, like... You make, if you have chickens and you make your own eggs. Let me just tell you something about dairy. Those bobby calves and, and the calves are taken away from their mothers. The bobby calves are all killed, you probably know that. The, the female calves get, you know, when they're about a year old, they get a fish shoved inside of their anus and they get bull semen. Oh, yeah. So they're raped and then they're impregnated and then they have their children stolen off them. The cycle repeats and they get put in a slaughterhouse when they can't produce milk for you anymore. Um, but with eggs, it's the same thing. It's just, it's basically slavery, all these egg laying hens. Um, what if you have your own eggs? Do you? Where do you get your eggs from? No, I don't, but I'm saying, like, okay, what if well, you do? Why don't you go vegan first and then we can talk about backyard eggs? Would you do that? Because do you still eat chicken, beef, bacon, and non backyard eggs and wear all animal products? No. What do you, so you, do you still drink dairy milk? Yeah. Yeah. But so, if you did go vegan, would you. Is it fine? Like good, good we can talk about it hypothetically, but it doesn't really apply to you because yeah, you're still consuming all these other but animal like for products. You, maybe. Uh, I wouldn't because I don't see, think eggs are food. They come out of a chicken's butt, and I don't think egg, egg, uh, chickens are here to serve us and give us products. But may, I don't know, like, an, like another one, vegan. What Would makes be, you think an egg is food? Because they give it to us. I don't know. It's because they told you that. That's just how society makes it. Yeah, you're conditioned, and you think it's cultural and. But, like, you don't have backyard chickens, do you? No. Yeah, you eat all your food. Yeah, but I know friends who Probably do. places like this. Yeah, one you know, of my friends is vegan, kind of, like, she doesn't, I think, I don't know if she's vegan, but she's, like, vegetarian, and she has her own, like, eggs. She has chickens in her Yeah, farm, but. well, I don't think using chickens as products is vegan, so I don't think she's vegan. But, because yeah. vegans are, like, a, a, a mindset oh. towards animals. They're not here for us to use and exploit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know, it's pretty horrible. I, in year four, I learned about it. Like, I, we had to do like, I did animal cruelty. It's really horrible. Like the stuff they do. That's why I, I still you shouldn't. Why do you should consume be, it? I don't know. Why do you put cruelty in your stomach? That's true. Do you know you got your stomach's full of, you know, murdered animals. How protein? How do you get it then? A plant. Where does protein originally come from? I don't know. Maybe. Well, how, where, where did the animal get the protein from? The grass. And, I don't okay. know. So where does protein originally come from? You can have a the guess. Ground. Maybe, I don't know. What? Water. Plants, don't it? That's true. All protein originally comes from plants. So why do we have to filter it through an animal that was stabbed in the throat? That's true, yeah. yeah. So why do we have to kill someone to get protein? Would you kill a dog to get protein? No. Why not? they're pets. Well, a pig can't be a pet? Yeah, it can, because that... they're like small. So... Yeah, I'm just saying, like, does that change the morality of stabbing animals if one animal's a pet and one animal isn't? Do you think stabbing a pet? No, it's horrible. Is different for the animal, like that one. Let's just say. Te yeah, technically not, but like yeah. people make it seem like it is. Because I put it to you this way: if you were my friend and you got stabbed in the throat, yeah. that would be bad for you. If someone wasn't my friend and they got stabbed in the throat, that would be just as bad for them. Yeah. But for me, it would be worse because you're my friend. Yeah. But that's got nothing to do with the justice of the individual being stabbed. Yeah. So just because a dog is your pet and a yeah. pig isn't, they both want to live just the same. That's true. It's kind of gross slaughterhouses. Why do you apply a different set of morality to dogs 
and not to these other animals. So you say, oh, dogs deserve moral treatment. If you kick a dog, that's bad, but you pay for animals to be butchered. Because they can eat them. I don't know. Because what? They eat, I don't know. Don't. You, you, no, no. You, society. Yeah. Told you know. so. <laughs> yeah. What they do is they, they teach you something called speciesism, where some animals matter morally and some don't. Humans have supremacy over all other animals. Other animals don't matter, we can do what we want to them, enslave them, kill them, stab them, put them in gas chambers, chop them up into pieces, eat their bodies and laugh about it. But dogs, if you did that to dogs, you wouldn't be laughing, people yeah. wouldn't be laughing at us. You know, they'd be on our team, they'd be on team they're vegan. They're all the same, pretty much, animals. Well, in the ways, in the ways that matter, they're, not, they're different, yeah. but in the ways that matter, they, they're sentient, meaning they have their own subjective experience of reality. Yeah. They want to live, they avoid pain and suffering, they want to be loved, cared for. What about honey? Is that bad? Yeah, but honey is bad too, for many reasons. Why? Because how many other sugars do you have in the in the store? You walk into the. I'll take you into Woolworths right now. How many other sugars do you have to choose from? Probably heaps. About forty. Yeah. Syrups. Yeah. Maple yeah, syrup. syrup. How, yeah. So, and how many sugars do the bees have? I don't know. Well, they have. Well, they have one. It's honey, and we still want to take that from them. But do they, do they, are they sentient? Are they, bees are sentient, yeah. Do they have brains? They, well, yeah. The, the thing is, insects are still... Insects still matter morally, right? The thing is, when you directly... T when you take a bunch of insects and you breed them and you, you, you use them for your own profit, that's a problem. But if you're accidentally... If you're walking around and, and you know, step on an ant or something like that, yeah. there's no, it's an accident. Accidents happen, don't they? But when you take a bunch of bees and you, you use them for a purpose and you clip the, they clip the queen bee's wings off so she can't move, she's stuck there. Right? They're enslaving these animals for their, what's theirs? Their one source of food. And you go into Woolworths and you've got plant food sweeteners. So yeah. Yeah, it's true. You can get like stevias. Yeah, we're greedy. Humans are greedy. Yeah. We want everything. We take it, we tear this. Consumerism. Their... What's it Consumerism, kind of. We tear everything off them. Their yeah. bones, their skin. What do you think? Is killing fish bad still, or oh, they're still, they're still sentient beings? Killing fish is bad. Well, do you think killing is bad? Yeah. Well, let's just put a scenario here. I'll put a scenario where it wouldn't be bad. Well, it would be an unfortunate situation, but if someone was trying to kill you or a family member, yeah. it would be okay to defend yeah, yourself. Yeah. And if you had to kill someone, to, yeah. uh, do you think a fish has ever harmed you? No. <laughs> or is it, has a pig ever harmed you? No. So why, why, do we, why do human beings hate them so much to put them in these places? What have they ever done wrong to us? I don't know, selfish, maybe. But they've done nothing wrong to and us. And everyone wants to make money, that's why. And people are taught that they're food, yeah? But do you reckon everyone can go vegan or no? Well, that's, it's irrelevant what everyone does. Do you think everyone's stop gonna, yeah. gonna stop abusing their wife or abusing children? Yeah. Do you think everyone's gonna stop abusing children? No. Well, but you don't abuse children, do you? Yeah. Why? You're never it's, gonna stop it. It's bad. You're never going to stop it. Yeah. So why don't you? Why yeah, don't you just exactly to make so, a change? Yeah. Be, like to say more. You, if you're going to say, say not everyone's going to go vegan straight away, so why should I? Yeah. Not everyone's going to stop killing each other in war either. You don't go yeah. around killing people, do you? No. Yeah, and you think it's you think it's immoral. Yeah, it's that's true. So, but is the end goal to make everyone go vegan or no? Because you. Well, if everyone, yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. But you, you know it's like kind of hard because... But we're changing the world right now. The vegan movement's grown just in the last two years. Magnitudes more yeah. than what it once was. Yeah, it's kind of true. But like... It's huge, dude. Yeah. It's growing huge. Mm. People are working it out, man. Because the evidence is right there. Yeah, that's actually true. And the vegan food's not actually that bad. It's, what do you mean? It's excellent. Yeah. Some of it's shit, but yeah, some, some of your food's shit, yeah. shit too. Yeah. Guaranteed you got a crap burger in your life. Yeah, but you think like the, the, you're actually eating actual shit because the animals shit all over themselves when they're in a slaughterhouse. And if you've been yeah. to a slaughterhouse and watched pigs... Lots of people always say, oh, it's so sad, but then they don't actually do anything about it, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, you can do something yeah. about it. It's really easy. Just go grab soy milk over dairy milk, stop eating chickens periods, and get off the slaughterhouse food. Yeah. You can make a huge difference. How many animals do you reckon you'll save over the course of your life? I don't know, maybe... A hundred, I don't know. You think you eat a hundred animals over the course of your life? What about chickens and fish? And oh, that's true, chickens are big, like small. I'm not sure. But will they... Even they... one. Let's just say you save one life. Do you think yeah. it's worth it to save... You know, someone's life is their entire existence. 
You only get one, don't you? Yeah. Imagine someone took your life away from you. Less. No, if less. you stop eating them, they'll stop breeding them. Yeah. But don't, what I don't understand, if someone goes vegan, this, but the, the, what's the people? Like the farmers and stuff, they don't know that to stop breeding them. Do you know what I mean? They will stop breeding them because they listen to demand. People don't sell products unless there's a demand for it, do they? You're not going to go out and sell t-shirts. If you're not selling any, what are you going to do? You're going to stop selling t-shirts, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, no point. Yeah, so they're going to stop selling corpses when you stop eating body parts. Yeah. This is called Challenge 22. If you can't do that, that for 22 days, mate, then I really, really don't have a good view of your willpower. It's 22 days out of your entire life. How, long, how old are you? 15. 15. Yeah. She's bigger than, taller than me, mate. <laughs> Yeah, what is it what is it for like just going vegan for 22 days? Yeah. It's free on Facebook. They give I you a seen, bit of guidance. You reckon I've seen you'll be able conspiracy. To do it? I had to do a, like a debate because we asked because we do a debate in food tech and I was the um I was pro non meat, like pro vegan. And then the others were pro pro um, pro me. You were eating meat at the time. Yeah, but we won because you were fighting a debate. Yeah, and you were eating the thing that you were fighting against. Yeah, wow. But we won. Well, that's good. Because it makes it makes a lot of sense. It actually kind of annoyed me. Their points was kind of stupid, like protein. Mm. Like that is a bit stupid, isn't it? Because you can just get it from other like crap, can't you? Of course you can. Yeah, and then they said all protein comes from plants. All of it. Yeah, and then they also said how like it's. How it's like yummy. That's what they, that was That's their, their point, best yeah. excuse. Yeah. It tastes good. Dog meat tastes good too with the right seasoning. Yeah. Human flesh would taste good too with the right seasoning. Mm, that's true. Wouldn't be moral though. There's protein in your flesh, there's iron in your flesh, there's probably some calcium in your bones. Would I kill you to get your calcium, iron, and protein? No, I wouldn't. You know? Do you have to take any like supplements going vegan or no? But the thing is, most food is fortified. B12 is probably the thing that you have to worry about the most. But yeah. everyone does. I Everyone's remember, got yeah, it. That's what they said. Like B12. But they inject it into the animals people eat. You know, so. So how do you get B12? I just eat fortified food. What's that? So all food, all, all basically store-bought cereals and stuff are fortified with vitamins, and B12 is one of them. And yeah. I put a lot of nutritional yeast on my food. It's full of B12. Oh but, yeah, yeah, we haven't had it. Yeah, but you know, yeah. this is just precautionary. The government put B12 in everything, even non-vegans food. It's just precautionary. It's something that we need, the reason it doesn't exist in... Why don't they put it in water? Why don't they put it in yeah. water? Because it can't uh, live in water because it's chlorinated. Oh, right. That's why they have to supplement elsewhere because the water's been chlorinated, fluoridated, and it kills the B12. The food's washed, sanitized, so it kills the B12. It comes naturally from the dirt. Yeah. Well, it's getting bigger, isn't it, vegan? Well, when you think huge, about it. When you know, it's getting, it's multiplying like exponentially every yeah. month. Yeah, because Henry just went vegan, then he got his family vegan, and then and his family vegan. So, what are you waiting for, mate? Yeah, it's good. I would do this. What's it? What do you? What I want you to do is watch Dominion from start to end. Yeah. Okay. I've seen Casper's. And when you're watching it, just go. Okay, they taste good. Okay, protein, and just like think of all your excuses that you have. Yeah. Oh, I can't be bothered. Watch those animals be yeah, butchered that's to what death. You, that's what we did in Casperacy because we yeah. did it for our debate, and then we you have to like look at the other person's debating, sheet, yeah. and then you just go through like all the things you can like say back to it, like you know what I mean, like all the points that override yeah. the, that the meat eaters' points. In the face of what the animals are going through, those excuses seem like you know insanity. Yeah, but okay. it's good talking to you, man. Gotta make a change. It's time for us as a people to start making some changes. Let's change the way we eat, let's change the way we live, and let's change the way we treat each other. You see, the old way wasn't working, so it's on us to do what we gotta do to survive. And still, I see no changes.